It's more than 50 years since a government dominated by civilians last ruled Myanmar. Now, an administration led by Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy is taking office almost five months after her party's landmark and landslide election win. Power is formally and finally being handed over at ceremonies starting here in the sprawling parliamentary complex in Naypyidaw, the capital. It's a big symbol in this country's journey from isolated repressive dictatorship to frontier market at the strategic heart of Asia. But it's also a controlled change in a system in which the former ruling military still looms large. MPs, including military officers, met in a sometimes emotional session to watch the transfer of power to new ministers led by President Tin Jo, Ms Aung San Suu Kyi's choice for a post from which she is constitutionally barred. It was a big milestone for people like Zim Ma Ong. Since uh, 1962, and then it's very uh, first moments and historic moments uh, the, for the uh, elected uh, civilian uh, president. Even though we have 25% uh, military appointed um, in our parliamentary seats, and of course we, in administrative body, uh, we, the military still control in some extent. But I think it's a very first moment that people show up uh, their willingness to support the civilian government. Now, Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi's party must find a way to work with a military that still holds large formal and informal powers. The party's MPs are also still getting used to the process of government. We will change our country from grassroots level. And, that, and then we, uh, we are working for three duties. First, to control the government, government office. And then the second is to, to make the Luto parliament by, by law to make the parliament in law. And uh, the third one is we have to do for our township develop, to be developed. This transition is a giant leap for Myanmar. But it is still also only another way station on the long road to full democratic civilian rule. Michael Peel, Financial Times, Naypyidaw.